The coffee is black, the robot is very, very frisky, and I'd like to welcome you to the Tuesday, September 16th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants with a cup of joe. And today I'm going to rant on a fantastic model that I built earlier uh, to today called a Fisher Technique Working Planetary Gear. Uh, th this is a, a absolutely stunning model and if you're a physics teacher or a science teacher uh, what a wonderful way uh, to instruct your students on the inner workings of, of planetary gear. I wanted to kind of explain what one is and, and and, and, and everything. This, by the way, this model came right from a Fisher Technique professional series mechanics plus static 30 model kit. The, uh, you, you'll, you'll see me every once in a while build a model like this out of the, uh, out of the Fisher set and then try to replicate it in Lego. I'm trying to teach you guys to uh, study models that, you know, of other companies and, th and then try to be creative and build those models in Lego or Erector or, or Tenex or whatever you, your building material is. It's a lot of fun and when you do it that way you learn so much. Well, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I, I am actually going to take this planetary gear and I'm going to build a working model of this in Lego using Lego parts exclusively. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but it, it sounds like a great project. Well, I did some investigation, guys, and I went on the Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a uh, one of my favorite sources for information and they have a uh, epicyclic gearing is what they call it epicyclic gearing or planetary gearing is a gear system that consists of one or more outer gears or planet gears revolving about a central or sun gear typically the planet gears are mounted on a movable arm or carrier which itself may rotate relative to the sun gear. Ep epicyclic gearing systems may also incorporate the use of an outer ring gear or annulus which meshes with the planet gears. Now essentially what they're saying is that the sun gear let me get it under the light so you can see it. Very centered, right there in the middle, is the sun gear. And the two gears that rotate about the sun gear are what they call planet gears. This gear that rotates about the planet gears is what they call the hollow gear. And this is what they call the movable arm or carrier which uh, houses the planet gears. You can see it's a very very tedious and difficult model and for me to do it in Lego will be a challenge to say the least. One of the things that is unique about the uh, Fisher Technique manuals they have two manuals. One is an instruction manual and the other is a grade version of that but they gear it for students and teachers and it's in six different languages so you can go uh, you know in, in just about any language that you speak and you're going to find something you can read. Well they have a segment in here called the planetary gear a planetary gear is a very complex system with various tooth wheel types. It is used in many areas. For example, as a stir in a kitchen appliance or as an automobile 
automatic transmission in a car. But there the construction is somewhat more complicated. Uh, they say the purpose of a planetary gear is simple. It allows the changes or the change of the transmission ratio under load, which means without separation of the flow of force between the drive and the driven gear. Due to the internal toothing of the hollow wheel, the tooth wheels are arranged in a particularly compact manner. For the reverse gear, for a planetary gear, no additional shaft or reverse idle gear is necessary. And in this manual they say, again, in the simplest case, the planetary gear consists of the sun gear one. See, it's the sun gear is one, it's in the center. And over here, if you look right smack dab in the center, that's called the sun gear. Planet wheels two, and see the two planet wheels are riding on each side of the sun gear. And you, you can see the, the two planet wheels, one right there and right there. And the sun gear is right there in the middle. The planet carrier three, and that's the planet carrier, and, and my planet carrier is similar. It's right here. And see, this planet carrier is isolated from this, this gear here. And the hollow wheel four, and you can see the hollow wheel with this, with a gearing on the inside, a very unusual gear. And if you look close enough, you'll see the the gearing. See the gearing centered on the hollow gear. They have different types of planetary gears. There is a planetary gear with four planet gears and one sun gear. Here's a planetary gear similar to the one that I just built. Uh, here's a, a planetary gear with three and, uh, and, and the sun gear in the middle. And there's another one that's similar to what I, I've, I have built, uh, except there's three uh, planetary gears where I have just two. So this is a marvelous uh, way to learn how transmissions work and how gearing uh, itself, as complicated as this is, is simplified in the design and illustration. This is probably the most complicated gearing that I've ever built. And tomorrow, the challenge is going to be to build it in the Lego. Bill and Red! And a very frisky, frisky robot saying, have yourself a great day, guys. And my robot says, sayonara, friends, sayonara.